What's up everybody? Retropie guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys around the brand new arcade stick by 8 This arcade stick works on the Raspberry Pi 4 and 400, Switch, Windows, uh, Steam. It also can work on the Xbox as well as PlayStation 4. Um, I think you need to do some converting with those. You might need some adapters. I haven't gotten too far into that. That's just what I've heard. But today we're going to be focusing on its use with RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi 4 or 400. So I'm just going to show you guys around this. There's two ways you could actually set this up. You could do it through Bluetooth or there's actually a receiver here in the back. So you could go in through the USB port here. Um, I don't recommend doing that though because the, um, the setup's a little bit different for that. Plus if you've paid $90 for this, you might as well use it on the Bluetooth. It makes more sense and it works much better. So. That's how we're gonna set it up today. I'm gonna to show you guys that because we get this nice little instruction manual here when we buy this. Of course, it doesn't seem to include anything on setting it up on the Raspberry Pi 4 or 400. It shows you how to do it on Switch, um, Bluetooth connection and wired, um, same for Windows, and that appears to be it. It doesn't show you anything else. So we're gonna go over how to set this up exactly with RetroPie. So the first thing we're going to do to set this up with RetroPie is we're going to jump into the settings here right on the front. First thing you want to do obviously is charge this thing up, but then we're going to go over to this dial here on the left corner. We're going to do, go ahead and switch that over to the switch S option, which is to the left. Um, as for the second dial here, we're going to keep that on D-pad, which is dead center. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in on our RetroPie, we're gonna go into the settings. So today I'm gonna to be using, I'm actually on the Raspberry Pi 400, so I'm gonna use my built-in keyboard. You can do this on your keyboard, you can do this on whatever your regular controller is, whether it's Bluetooth or wired in. Either will work as long as you've been previously using that and it's all set up. So we are gonna jump into our settings here, so we'll go ahead and hit A. For me anyways on the keyboard, I guess for you guys on a controller as well, we're gonna jump down to Bluetooth, our second option down. Select that, it'll load in for a second. Now we are gonna to go to register and connect Bluetooth device. So we'll open that up and what we're gonna do on our arcade stick is we're gonna we're gonna go in and hit the green button in that left corner. So we'll select this on our RetroPie. While we're searching, we're gonna hold this button down for three seconds. You'll see this icon here. It looks like dice in the corner starting to flash blue so that it's syncing up with our RetroPie. You can see RetroPie searching. It'll take a couple of seconds here to populate. All right, so you can see our Bluetooth has been picked up here. It's gonna be the Pro Controller option. Now, if you have other Bluetooth devices nearby, it will pick them up. So that's what this number is across the top here. It's probably picking up um, another device in the in my house here that runs on Bluetooth. So we'll actually go down to the Pro Controller. We're gonna select OK. And now here it says, please choose the security mode. Try the first one, then second if that fails. So we're gonna do exactly that. Um, it usually works on the first one, but we'll see how our luck is today. Sometimes it takes the second try. So we'll hit the first one. Um, if you get to the screen, that means that it worked. Now, if it doesn't work, it'll say um, error, in which case you're gonna have to go in here. You would go down, and again, this is only if you get that error message, this time it worked. So you would go down if you get that error message to remo remove Bluetooth device, because it's actually still paired. It's just not gonna be functioning. So go in here, you would hit um, enter. It would remove your Bluetooth device. Then you would go in and try this again. So you'd go to register and connect Bluetooth device, make sure that your um, pairing is pairing signal is flashing on your arcade stick. And then you would go down to that second option once you've selected to pair. Um, again, that's only if you get an error message. We didn't get that today, so we're, we went with the first one. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to um, set a view dev rule for Joypad. And this is required for Joypads from 8 so we're gonna just select okay on that. We're gonna select okay to the pro controller because it's asking to please choose the Bluetooth device you would like to create a UDEV rule for. We're doing that for the pro controller here. So 
Now it's going to say an entry already exists for Pro Controller. Um, that's just because I set this up previously. So what it would do for you since you've not set this up previously, it would just say um, that you need to reboot. So you'd select OK and you would actually go back by hitting cancel here. Go to the main screen and now you could reboot your um, Raspberry Pi at that time in order to load these um, settings in. So since we're all set here, we're going to act as if you had just rebooted your system. So now we have to map it. We're going to go to our controller or in my case, the keyboard here. Um, we're going to go to our main menu, jump down to configure input. Are you sure you want to configure input? Yes. And now we are going to hold down the A button on our arcade stick in order to start the input process here. So hold that. You'll see pro, pro controller populates across the bottom. Um, it says gamepad two we're configuring. That's just because I'm using my keyboard, which would be gamepad one in this case. For you, your gamepad one would be whatever you're using to, to do this today. So it could be your regular controller or a keypad. So now we are gonna go through the configuring process. So for D-pad up, we're just gonna go on our joystick up, D-pad down, we'll go down, D-pad left, we'll go left, D-pad right, we'll go right. Start is gonna be this button right here. Select is the one right next to it. Now we're gonna do A, so A is gonna be A on here. B is gonna be B. X is gonna be X, Y is gonna be Y. Now for left shoulder and right shoulder, our first option is gonna be left shoulder is actually gonna be the R button right here. So we're gonna hit that. Um, right shoulder is going to be this one right here, which is down. Left trigger is going to be this top right corner button. Uh, right trigger here is gonna be this one here, the bottom right corner. And that's all we have to set up for this. We don't need to do the left thumb, right thumb, or any of the analog setups. So we're just gonna hold down any button on here that we've already configured just to skip past all these. We're just gonna skip past everything and jump down to the hotkey. All right, so for the hotkey, we are going to use select again this button here hit that now we can go ahead and hit a to get out of this configuring that's going to finalize everything and we are all set so we can exit out of here by hitting b now we can see that our arcade stick is now controlling our different settings here we're able to move back and forth so now we're going to demo this let's do metal slug here and we'll hit a We'll do a couple different game types to demo this just so you can see the different options here. So for arcade style games to insert coins always going to be the select button up here. So we'll throw a few coins in there. Let's start. All right. Mission one, start. demo tech in here. Um, the 
nice thing about this arcade stick is you can use it on games like we're using PlayStation here. Round which one. isn't something you would usually use an arcade stick for. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, everybody, that's going to conclude our demos for today. Just want to give you guys a couple different gameplay options there so you can see how this uh, arcade stick behaves with different um, game genres. Obviously, it's the, uh, the go-to for the fighting games, but works great on um, a variety of different arcade games and re regular home console system games. Um, it's definitely cool to play some of the like PlayStation, Tekken 3 fighting games. Um, you can play Sonic on here, Mario, all that stuff that typically wouldn't be played with a uh, arcade stick. It works perfectly with it. Um, this particular uh, upgraded version that they've just put out seems to be upgraded across the board. The joystick works way better than the previous version, as well as the buttons. Everything just seems like a higher quality. The last version wasn't um, particularly impressive for the price point, but... Definitely with the new buttons here and the and the uh, joystick itself, plus paired with the different um, configuration options. You know, this, this works on uh, the Switch, the Windows platform, Stream, Raspberry Pi. You can also get this going on Xbox and PlayStation as well. So those um, do require some different um, attachments in order to, to convert this over to those. But nonetheless, still works great. Uh, it's a solid, it's real solid... Um, arcade stick. Everything's made super well. The back side here has some uh, non-slip pads which make moving this around um, a non-issue. You know, you're not going to be sliding this across a uh, tabletop or anything like that. Everything's pretty solid. Not that I'd recommend throwing it off the couch or anything, but if you did drop it, I'm pretty confident it's not going to shatter or fall apart. So... Um, these are retailing right now for about $89.99 on Amazon. That's probably the, one of the better places to get it from. You know, if you ever had an issue with a return or anything, you can always trust that Amazon's going to um, back you up with that. So super easy uh, return process there if anything was an issue. Um, I really don't have anything negative to say about it. It's, um, it's just a really, really nice... Um, chunky uh, arcade stick which is what you want you don't want something that's easily breakable or, or anything like that but um, yeah that's going to do it for today I just want to give you guys a step-by-step um, -step process for setting these up with the uh, RetroPie system here because um, Apido is just not including the uh, Raspberry Pi on their instruction manual still um, which is odd because I I think they're definitely the um, the better controller option for Raspberry Pi systems, but who knows, maybe they'll savvy up and uh, and start including the Raspberry Pi on there. Until then, um, you know, tutorial videos like this are probably the best bet, so you can see step-by-step -step, um, instructions on exactly what you need to do to get these up and running. And then with, you know, with RetroPie, it's nice that everything gets saved too, so you only have to go through this step-by-step um, -step process once. Once it's saved in there, you're good to, you're good to go on these. As soon as you boot up, just connect over to them, and you're you're good to go. So uh, that'll do it for today. Be sure to um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to us here on the YouTube channel. We're going to be doing a lot of different videos. We have some gameplay demos, some tutorials, as well as um, different walkthrough tours of our game card collections. Um, and we have now over 250 themes that you could choose from for our game card collection. So definitely some really cool stuff going on. And of course, check us out online at www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.